Now in this next part then, we're told that the coefficient of x squared is equal to 6 times the coefficient of x in this expansion and asked to find the value of k. So if we've got this, then what follows? Well, the coefficient of x squared, that's the value in front of the x squared here, which is going to be 672k squared. So we can write that down as 672k squared is going to equal 6 times the coefficient of x, the number or value in front of x. So we can see that the value in front of x here is the 448k. So we just times that with 448k. So all we need to do now is just simply multiply out 6 with the 448 and if you do that you get 2688k and what we've got is a quadratic equation because we've got a k squared and like all quadratic equations it is best to bring everything to one side so we've got 672k squared minus 260 sorry 2688k equals 0 now, what we'd want to do is factorise this, and you could actually divide through by 672. I'm taking a gamble. Does 672 go into 2688? Well, if you do it on your calculator, in fact, it does. It goes four times, so that's quite nice. Okay, so we've got k squared minus 4k equals zero. That makes the factorising very easy. All we need to do is pull out k as a common factor and we have k minus 1 equals 0. Now that means that therefore either this k equals 0 or this factor here k minus 1 equals 0. Well, if we add 1 to both sides here we end up with therefore k equals 0 still for this one or k equals 1. Now the problem is that clearly k has got to be greater than 0. I mean if we had 0 for k here we'd have 2 plus nothing else. So that's silly to have k is 0. So what we're going to say is just over here that since k is greater than 0 therefore k must equal 1. Alright?